Hello everyone, today I'm gonna make one of my favorite desserts, souffle. I'm gonna show you how you can make this delicious hazelnut souffle with apple ice cream at home. This combination of hot and sweet souffle with cold and sour apple ice cream is just delicious. So let's do it. And first thing we have to do is to start with the ice cream because it's gonna take longer. And I'm gonna need apples, cinnamon, eggs, milk, double cream and sugar. I'm gonna separate the eggs and the egg yolks I'm gonna use for the ice cream and the whites I keep for the souffle. Then I put milk and double cream inside the pot and bring it to boil slowly. Now I can put egg yolks and the sugar inside the bowl and whisk it properly. When the cream is slightly boiling, I can take it out from the heat and mix it slowly with the eggs. Make sure you don't mix it too fast, otherwise you get scrambled eggs. Then transfer it back into the pot and I'm gonna cook it slowly until I reach around 80 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna pass it through the chinois so I make sure there are no lumps. Cover it with clean film and I'm gonna put it inside the fridge to cool down. And now let's start with the apple puree. For this recipe I'm using green sour apples like this because I want my ice cream to end up sweet and sour so it's gonna be good match with sweet souffle. So I'm gonna peel them and chop them roughly. Doesn't really matter how you chop them but try to chop them to similar size, so they cook evenly. Then I'm gonna start with the sugar inside the pan and I'm gonna make brown caramel. Put apples on the top and season it with cinnamon. I also put one shot of rum, that's optional but I think it's gonna give very nice taste. And let's flambe it. I'm gonna reduce the alcohol down and then I put some water. And I'm gonna cook everything until the apples will be very soft. Last thing, I put fresh lemon juice in and let's go to blitz it. I'm gonna pass it through the chinois and my apple puree for the ice cream is done. I'm gonna cover it with a clean film and leave it inside the fridge to cool down. So the ice cream is chilling inside the fridge and now let's start with the souffle. I'm gonna need egg yolks, milk, corn flour, plain flour, sugar and hazelnut paste. So I'm gonna mix hazelnut paste with milk inside the pot and I'm gonna bring it to the boil. Then I mix egg yolks with corn flour, sugar and plain flour inside the bowl. The milk is almost boiling, so I can transfer it inside the egg yolks. And again, mix it very slowly. Transfer it back inside the pot and I'm gonna cook it on low heat around 10 minutes so the custard become thicker and I cook out the flour. And now I just move it inside the box, put the clean film on the top and I'm gonna put it inside the fridge to cool it down. And in the meantime, I finish my ice cream. Vanilla base and apple puree are cold now so I can mix them. You can really adjust the ratio for your ice cream but I'm using three parts of vanilla base and one part of apple puree. And the last step is to put my ice cream inside the ice cream machine and let's finish the souffle. So the creme patisserie is cold 
And now we have to mix it with the egg whites. For the ratio, I'm gonna use one part of creme patisserie and two parts of egg whites. For my two portions, I'm gonna use around 70 grams of creme patisserie and 140 grams of egg whites. And for the meringues, I'm gonna use one part of egg whites and 70% of the sugar. So let's do it. I put egg whites inside the bowl. Also put a pinch of salt and I'm gonna whisk it on medium speed for a few minutes. When you get light foam like this, you can start adding the sugar. When you do things like this, you always wanna keep adding the sugar part by part, otherwise it's not gonna work. And you wanna end up with something like this. But before we're gonna mix everything, we have to prepare the remakins. So I'm gonna brush it with soft butter. And I'm gonna finish it with straight moves like this. This is very important to keep it straight, otherwise your souffle will not rise. Now I can put grated dark chocolate inside and I'm gonna put it inside the fridge for a few minutes to set. And in the meantime, let's finish the souffle. So I'm gonna mix egg whites with creme patisserie and the souffle will be ready for the baking. I'm gonna put souffle inside the remakins and make it flat with a spatula. Then I'm gonna use finger and make a ring around the remakin so the souffle can go out easily. And I'm gonna bake it 180 degrees Celsius around 15 minutes. But always adjust the time depending on the size of your remakin. And guys, if you enjoy today's recipe, don't forget to give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments why you would like to see more on my channel so I can make it for you. And in 15 minutes, the souffle looks like this, beautiful. My apple ice cream is getting ready as well, so let's finish it. I'm gonna make nice quenelle of the ice cream and put it on the top of the hot souffle. And let's taste it. This is just delicious guys. I totally recommend you to try it at home because this one is amazing. The full recipes for everything you can check out in the description down below. And if you would like to learn fine dining cooking from me personally, learn how you can create your own dishes, cook them at home like a professional chef and improve plating once for all so you can amaze everyone who will come to eat at your house, you can apply for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching on my website chefmike.com and I'm gonna help you to achieve your cooking goals. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.